Did primates first evolve in Asia, and then spread to Africa? This is the hypothesis of a bold new idea, called the Out of Asia Theory. The theory is not without controversy, but the work of scientists in Asia is turning the Out of Africa Theory on its head. A primate discovered in Myanmar, the country in Southeast Asia that some still know as Burma, suggests our ancestors came from Asia, rather than Africa. Researchers have discovered remains of an anthropoid primate, now named Afrasia jujida, in Myanmar. The origin of anthropoids, the simians, or higher primates, has been debated for decades among scientists. Although fossils unearthed in Egypt have long suggested that Africa was the cradle for anthropoids, other bones revealed in the last 15 years raised the possibility that Asia may be their birthplace. The ancestors of all monkeys, apes, and humans may have originated in Asia and made the arduous journey to the island continent of Africa, almost 40 million years ago. Here is a reconstruction of the small primate, which probably weighed about 3.5 ounces. Researchers mostly agree that our immediate ancestors, the upright walking apes, arose in Africa. But the discovery of a new primate that lived about 37 million years ago, in the ancient swamplands of Myanmar, bolsters the idea that the deep primate family tree that gave rise to humans is rooted in Asia. Until recently, fossils of every suspected early anthropoid were found in Africa and dated to about 30 million years ago. Then, starting in the 1990s, researchers began discovering the remains of petite primates that lived 37 million to 45 million years ago in China, Myanmar, and other Asian regions. This suggested that anthropoids may have actually arisen in Asia, and then migrated to Africa a few million years later. But paleontologists have lacked the fossils to show when and how these anthropoids trekked across Eurasia. An international team of researchers sifting fossils of early fish, turtle, and ancestral hippo teeth, from fossil beds in Myanmar found a molar the size of a kernel of popcorn. The tooth, dated to about 38 million years ago, belonged to a new species of ancient primate, which would have been the size of a small chipmunk. After several more years of arduous fieldwork, the team collected just four molars of this primitive anthropoid, which they named Afrasia jigidae. The site a difficult place to work, it took six years to find just four teeth. The four molars were enough to show that Afrasia was closely related to another primitive anthropoid that lived at about the same time, but in Africa, called Afrotarsius libicus. When the researchers examined the teeth from the two primates under a microscope, they were so similar in size, shape, and age that they could have belonged to the same species of primate. Microscopic analysis of the teeth showed that the teeth from Burma and Libya were extremely similar. Such an affinity between Asian and African anthropoid fossils has not been demonstrated before. Subtle differences, such as a tiny bulge at the back of what would have been the last lower molar in the jaw of the Burmese anthropoid, suggest that the discoveries represent a more primitive, basal member of the anthropoid clade. Such close resemblance between an Asian and African fossil anthropoid had never been demonstrated previously. These primitive traits, as well as the greater diversity and age of early anthropoids in Asia rather than Africa suggest that this group arose in Asia and migrated to Africa 37 million to 39 million years ago. Fossil evidence suggests anthropoids didn't arrive in Africa until right before their fossils were found in Libya. During this time, in the geological period that immediately followed the demise of the dinosaurs, average annual temperatures seem to have been relatively stable, with the world being several degrees warmer than today. High humidity and rainfall led to extensive forestation. Global temperatures began to rise, and by around 50 million years ago the average annual global temperature was somewhere in the region of 82 degrees Fahrenheit, or 28 degrees Celsius. Earth became a lush tropical paradise with rainforests extending from Canada down to the tip of Chile in the Western Hemisphere, and from the southern tip of Norway to the south of Australia in the Eastern Hemisphere. Even the British Isles, those parts that were above sea level, was a tropical paradise, with crocodiles basking on the banks of a river system that resembled the Congo River, seen in Western Africa today. Scientists propose that more than one species of anthropoid migrated from Asia to Africa at about this time, because there are at least two other types of early anthropoids living at about the same time as Afrotarsius in Libya, yet they are not closely related to Afrotarsius or Afrasia. 
This may be because once they got to Africa, they found ideal lush conditions, with few carnivores and underwent a starburst of evolution, rapidly giving rise to a number of new species. Others agree that if both the new species of primates from Myanmar and Libya are indeed early anthropoids, they would greatly strengthen the case for the Asian origins of anthropoids. If proven, the biogeographical significance of these results is profound. It would show that there was a major migration of primates and probably other mammals between the two continents, at a time when it was not easy to get across the ancient Tessis Sea that divided Africa from Asia. And for humans, it would suggest that our deepest primate roots were in Asia, not Africa. Still, the similarity between the species rests on just four molars of aphrasia, although teeth are the most reliable way to measure relatedness. And some researchers have yet to be convinced that Afrotarsius in Libya is a closely related anthropoid, rather than an ancestor of Tarsius, which are primates that are not anthropoids and, thus, are more distant relatives. But the scales are tipping toward an Asian origin. We've all heard about out of Africa for human origins. Now scientists think there was an out of Asia migration into Africa first. This migration from Asia ultimately helped set the stage for the later evolution of apes and humans in Africa. It remains an open question how early anthropoids actually migrated from Asia to Africa. Back then, the two continents were separated by a more extensive version of the modern Mediterranean Sea, called the Tessis Sea. Early anthropoids may have either swum from island to island from Asia to Africa, or possibly have been carried on naturally occurring rafts of logs and other material washed out to sea by floods and storms. Other animal groups apparently migrated from Asia to Africa at this time as well, such as rodents, and extinct pig-like animals. After early anthropoids made their way to Africa, those left behind apparently died out in Asia. Around 34 million years ago, there was a dramatic glacial event that cooled the world climate and affected Asia more than Africa. During that crisis, scientists supposed that all primitive Asian anthropoids disappeared. The anthropoids now in Asia, such as gibbons and orangutans, migrated from Africa some 20 million years ago. The researchers suggest early anthropoids were once present in the vast areas between Myanmar and Libya, but such fossils have yet to be unearthed. Paleoprimatologists, who study the evolution of early primates, have been scratching their heads over the exact origins of these creatures. Ultimately, if the apes evolved in Asia, then our own human origins can be traced back to this part of the world too. Early human-like creatures, hominins, probably evolved in Africa, but their ancestors may have originated in the East, 